to the look at just. No, don't. Sanchez, go, you're a fraud! You're the worst player I've ever seen! He can't be on the pitch! <laughs> Nobody can tell me this guy ain't match fixing! You just can't. <laughs> Match fixing. <laughs> Hit the like button, subscribe. It's the fan channel review show. Curtis Shaw here. Let's take a look. On. He's doing it on purpose. He can't even control the ball. He's the worst footballer I've ever seen. Please, Smith Rowe, get that. Oh my. Are you guy? Are you watching this guy play football? Title race. You lot mate sack this manager tonight. He got so close to the mic. Sack him! It's over. You ball jobs! Finished! What are you looking at the screen for, bro? You're done. Sack Arteta today! Is, is that a little over the top? Like, a, a genuine question. Should they be sacking Arteta now? Is it all over? Is it all done? I, I gen genuinely, genuinely just like, want your opinion on that. I'd love to know your thoughts and feelings on it. I, I, I'm, I feel like it's a little bit over the top, but I understand the emotion yesterday. <laughs> I understand the emotion. That is the Spanish Brendan Rodgers. I've been saying it for years. I'm standing by my word. Until this guy wins something, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't care. Havertz is rubbish. Zinchenko's rubbish. Sack this guy tonight. <laughs> I, I listen. I get the comment about not winning a major trophy. That holds absolute water. But oh, I, I do love it when people are angry. Oh! 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 Oh my days! Oh my days! No fucking way! No way! It's fucking Bailey! Are you taking the fucking piss blood? Not Bailey! No fucking way! Are you taking the piss blood? Why Bailey? What, what, someone needs to tell me in the comments. I must have missed this. Why not Bailey? What's the issue with Bailey? Leon Blood Clark Bailey. I said it. He's not starting. Fucking Bailey, Trey. Fucking Bailey, bro. Of all fucking people. Fucking Bailey. He's just gone smashed his desk up. Oh, my days, blood. Fucking Bailey. Of everyone it could be. It's fucking him. What? <laughs> Look at this in Ketia guy, blood. This guy's a joke, blood. This guy's a joke. Get out of my club. Go away, bro. Go away. Go away. Leave me alone, blood. <laughs> Do you know what it sounds like? You know, in the summer, when you try and have a picnic or a barbecue and there's a wasp. <laughs> Go away. Leave me alone. <laughs> Go away. Get out, man. Get out. <laughs> that's what my mum was like when we were kids we'd be naughty in the summer holidays oh beautiful beautiful useless <laughs> useless I get it listen I, I get it we've all been there we've all seen it oh my god just calm down for a minute oh my days oh my god nice one nil palace lads just stop it it's one nil Palace, and it's too easy. Our defence is it? They should be ashamed of themselves. Why is Klopp smiling? Why? Why is Klopp smiling? <laughs> he does that, doesn't he? When they can see, he's sort of like. <laughs> and it, it obviously winds Liverpool fans up because they love Klopp. They haven't said anything, but then. Because they're struggling now, it's all coming out. The truth is coming out. <laughs> Why are you smiling? It's not funny. What is funny is how bad our defence is. Sob a slight. Ah, no. No, that did not just happen. That didn't happen. I did not just see that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I couldn't have seen that. I did not just see another professional footballer miss a chance to an open goal from seven yards. I didn't see it. I didn't. I couldn't see it because if... He's done. He's absolutely done. I'm seeing that. I'm admitting that these lads are actually losing the plot. I, I I didn't I did not just see that. You did. I couldn't. I, I, you did. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh.
No! <laughs> no! 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 Yes! 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 <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly, I love this guy. Change my mind. We are shameless, fam. Good evening from We Got Bigger Fish to Fry. We got it all in our hand. So we got bigger tears to cry. And at home, we got pammed. Were you telling me, Robert, all this talk about winning the league and it's looking like your title's been taken faster than Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania? You could be stripped to your title like Harry and Meghan Markle, I told ya. Samuel XXL Jackson, that Jamaican Easter egg. All you've been doing is preparing for Arsenal to win the league. Well, with the fixtures that you got left, your time would be better off preparing to get your hair cane rolled. <laughs> We lost the game, Roberto, but the upside is them views are going to be looking like your cholesterol. We're going to do this. I've been getting cooked week after week. That walking Maltese turned into Cedric the Entertainer, fam. Crucial. How dare you? That Ruben started blood. Arsenal fans went from singing waka waka to getting whacked up at home. Aston Villa, you would think they were up against Amber Heard. They got yeah. touched. But cry Osaka, man like Buckwheat from Little Rascals, not getting any GA today, but them 500 holes in your socks, blood, and him limping like Penguin from Batman will probably get him into Robbie's team of the week. Brother, the Jamaican sensation, Leon Bailey, scoring past that six foot celebrity dating at Raya. Less of that. Raya ended up getting chipped quicker than a tooth on the Jeremy Kyle show fam the final form I show speed Ollie Watkins was on fire all season these man be talking about how strong their defense is laughing at me because we held four Arsenal's only conceded four all year well brother you man got opened up quicker than John Moxley today bro. oh my god <laughs> excellent absolutely listen you may be an Arsenal fan you may be in pain but that was class. That absolutely class. And do you know what I, I would say to the Gooners? You'll be disappointed today. But laughter is the best form of medicine in this in this circumstance. But I'm even taking shots. I've, I'm, I've, I've had shots at me all day. This guy here. You were always saying Arsenal um, were the title favourite. Stop trying to make excuses. I mean, I literally proper called out by people. And this isn't the only guy. Hundreds of comments coming in at me saying that I predicted Arsenal to win the league. I didn't. I didn't. I just wanted to say that. I've been called out. I wanted to address this, right? I just said Arsenal will be title contenders. I, my question mark was, do they have the mental strength and the ability and know-how to navigate this part of the season? And yesterday puts a big dent into that. But it isn't over. And that's why I'm saying to Arsenal fans, take your medicine today, take the banter today, but it isn't over. And I still don't necessarily think it's a hugely disappointing season, but we'll get on to more of that on the top six show later on tonight. I'm Mark Goldbridge. What a day in the Premier League title race. And it's not a day I wanted to see. Manchester City locking down four in a row. Is the Premier League going to become the French League? I mean, look, today, if, it was, if there was no Man City in this league, we would have an amazing league. You know, Arsenal and then Liverpool dropping points, bottling it, whatever you want to say. The strength of the Premier League for Villa and Palace to go and win at those two places as underdogs is incredible. But that's also why it's not like the French League, in my personal opinion. I know City are the outright best, but if you actually look at it over the last few years, it's been very close. I mean, just just, just honestly, when you look at the, the, the league table... The moment they're topped by two points last season. I think last season they did win it by five in the end. Five points last year. That's because Arsenal then fell off once they knew they couldn't win it. Season before that, they won it by one point. 2021. What they win it by in 2021? That was quite a considerable way. They won that by, that by t uh, 12 points that season. 2020, Liverpool won the league. 2019, they won it by a point. You know, 2018, country mile, nearly 20 points. So there's been two years where they've won it and they've won it at an absolute canter. The rest of the time, it's been pretty close. They're just the best team of this generation. It's as simple as that for me. Unfortunately, we've got a team who won't slip up like that and it means it will be four in a row for Manchester City, which I don't think is good for the league. You know, 
not, not, even with the charges hanging over them, it's still not good for the league, even if they get off with it. I disagree. I disagree in the sense of, let's say that they're not, if they're guilty, that's another conversation. But if they're not, is it not good for the Premier League to have potentially one of the greatest sites? I don't want it to be City. But if they were to do this for Pete and then do back-to-back -back trebles, they become one of the greatest teams in the history of football, let alone England. Why is it bad for the Premier League to potentially have the greatest football team of all time from our league? I, I don't see how it's bad for us. It's not that we lack com competitiveness. We've, we've just seen Palace and Villa go and do Arsenal and Liverpool. The competitiveness is there. Again, another great debate for us to have on the top six show tonight, 5 p.m. Make sure you are there. Make sure you're there. It's just too dominant. But on the other hand, that's no excuse for Liverpool. It's no excuse for Arsenal. We would not have predicted both of these results today. And the label of bottle jobs does have to go to both clubs. I mean, I, I... do you see Arsenal and Liverpool as bottle jobs? I, I want to just get your opinion on this. Because I understand it. Liverpool, five points clear. They're now behind. So what's it been? Six, seven point swing. Arsenal were top in their hands at home. Favourites against Villa. They messed up. Started well, faded. They lost. And now they're relying on somebody stopping City for them and then winning all their games. Is bottle jobs the right word? I'm not defending either club. I'm asking a question. I want to get your views and I want to get your opinions below. Listen, everyone who's tuned in today, give me your thoughts. Give me your feelings. Give me your opinions. Whatever club you support. Until next time, take care. Goodbye. God bless. And I'll see you all again soon. Peace.